Good morning, everybody. It's Ramona. It's Monday, and we're going to do some wax empties. Usually, I do them on Friday, but A, I wasn't melting much last week because I was having open houses and people were coming in. And why is my camera all weird? Um, and so I was not melting a whole lot last week, although the days that I did have a couple of things melting, uh, my realtor said, oh my gosh, it smells so good in here. So, you know, you never know. So anyway, uh, just a little update. After all of those open houses and showings i did uh sign a contract last night very excited so i think they have like seven or ten days in the option period to back out hopefully they won't i'm gonna keep saying my prayer to saint joseph which i've been doing uh ever since i got him he's like the saint of selling your house or something like that so anyhow um yeah, I sold my house. So now I'm getting, uh, I have a long to-do list. There's like 13 things on my to-do list. The top one is sell the house and there's a check mark beside that. So now I'm going to, I um, need to find movers. So I have one bid at 5,900. I have another bid at 11,400. So I have a couple more uh, tomorrow and um, then I can book the movers and do lots of cross-border paperwork that I need to do. And there's all kinds of things on my to-do list. I also have an isolation list, what, what things I'm taking with me on isolation. And at the top of the list, number one, I'm looking at my list over there, uh, is warmer and wax. So maybe I'll do a little video of the wax and warmer my my isolation melting basket. That's what I'll do, my isolation melting basket. Okay, but anyway, so we're here to talk about uh, empties for this last like 10 days or so. And uh, again, I'm not organized, why start now? So I did melt a sample of jeweled pomegranate and this came in um, a whiff box a couple of months ago. It's a little sweet for me. It's a little sweet and, and fruity for me. It was okay, I don't, I don't love it. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Um, I melted, oh, a Snapdragon. I melted a Winterberry Apple Tea, a favorite. Uh, Maui Mist, which I did enjoy. I'm currently melting right now Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze. This is the scent of the month for May. Yeah, May, 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 sorry. My mind is a little cluttered right now, I'm sorry, for May. The warmer of the month for me, the uh, Suck Cute Lent Succulent Warmer um, sold out lickety split on the very first day, but you can pre-order it. Go to my website um, and under scent of the month, uh, under the menu, uh, go menu specials, scent and warmer of the month. Uh, you can pre-order it for a down, a down payment of $10. And then I think they're coming in September. They'll bill the rest of you at that time when it ships. So anyway, go on um, the internet. There's, there's also pictures on my Facebook VIP group as well of the May warmer of the month. It's a succulent warmer. It's super pretty. You can also see it on Pinterest. Um, I also uh, pre-ordered one for me as well. So I'm really, really looking forward to getting it. Anyway, Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze is the warmer of the month for May. It's very aquatic and fresh. Slightly cologne -y or slightly perfumey to my nose, um, but not too much. I'm melting it. Um, toasted marshmallow. And this is one of the ones I did melt. I only put like one cube in the kitchen, one cube in the living room. And that was one of the days that the realtor said it smelled so good in here. That was toasted marshmallow. This is so yummy. So good. I have a couple cubes left of that. So I'll keep that out. Johnny Appleseed. I also, was this one of the days? Oh, no, 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 no. This was one of the days that I mixed Johnny Appleseed and... Um, Toasted marshmallow, and that was the day she said it smelled so good. Johnny Appleseed is great on its own. Just fresh, juicy apples, but it's also a great, great mixer. I love Johnny Appleseed. And uh, Lux Vanilla, I melted this one day, not uh, not during one of the open houses or anything, but I just tried it downstairs. I have a couple cubes left of that, so we'll finish those this week. Um, I melted Starlight Soda Pop from the Bathing Garden, and I do not have the scent notes, but I wanna say it's root beer. It, I believe it's root beer. That's what I was getting. Um, and I have two cubes of, left of that. So I'll probably melt through that as well. And these bathing garden clams, they are the same size clam as every other clam, but I feel like they're fuller than a regular clam. 
I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like, or else they're stronger. When I do melt uh, the bathing garden, I melt one cube at a time and it's plenty. Um, I melted some bags of stuff. Oh, I finished a bag of Rainbow Melts Wanna Bite, which is cornbread and pumpkin apple butter. And this was really good. This was um, a scent chosen by Johanna. We went uh, splits on a custom order a while back. So I finished that, it was good. I melted some more Enchanted Moon. This was a Yankee candle that I melted to make tarts. It was so, so good. I melted some of the custom I made from Destination Wax in Blackberry Musk and Shaving Cream. And this was a 50-50 blend and I really, really enjoyed it. I got the shaving cream and I got the blackberry. The throw, I must say, the throw was kind of light on this. I mean, it wasn't too light. I mean, for me, I like things to be eight or nine out of 10. It was like a six and a half or seven. So medium, it was a medium throw. I shouldn't say light, it was a medium throw. Uh, this I melted sweet sugar lemon. This was a mainstays candle that I melted and make tarts from. This is so good. If you like lemon scents, it's very sweet lemon. It's not a cleaner lemon, it's a sugared lemon, just like it says, sugary, sweet lemon. Um, the throw on this is a medium. I would really like this to be an eight or nine out of 10 because the scent is that good, but it's about a seven for me in my house, but it was still good, really enjoyable. In fact, I really liked it a lot. When I put this in the other day, it's like, mm -hmm, I might wanna get one more of these candles just in case. Actually, I need to talk to Kim and see what the mainstays candle situation is like in Canada. Because if I, if I can get it there, then I, won't, I don't need to get it here. Uh, speaking of Kim, I finished a cookie from Rainbow Melts called Texas Triangle. And this was Texas Blue Bonnets, Vanilla and Leather. So if you don't know already, if you don't watch Kim or me, or, or you're new to both of our channels, uh, Canada Kim 1978, great friend of mine that we met through YouTube. And she came to visit me April two years ago. And so she was in Texas, we went to Dallas, we went to San Antonio and hung out in Houston. We did a live video, which was so much fun. I wanna say the live was almost two hours. I could be wrong, but it was a lot of fun. And anyway, uh, Crystal Grenier, the owner of Rainbow Melts, let us pick some scents. And she made three cookies for us in, you know, commemorating, you know, the YouTube friendship, I guess, of Canada Kim 1978 and Ramona Talk, whatever. And this was one of the ones that we chose, Texas Blue Bonnets, Vanilla and Leather. And that was really, really good. I, re I like the leather in that one. Crystal also made for me in one of my customs an apple and leather. And if you like leather scents, Crystal's oil is really, really good. It's a really authentic leather like you're just walking into like a leather store or something like that it's really good uh also in the lemon category beehive from vcs and this was poured can you see that in 2017 and it's still really great really great lemon coconut cream butter cake and zucchini bread and it was really really good i enjoyed that one a lot and something else I really, really enjoyed is a Bath & Body Works candle in Sweet Cherry Pie. I think this is two years old and I melted this with coffee. The first day the realtor came to the house, this is what was in, half, one cube of coffee, Kona coffee from um, DD from oh, the Hobby, Lo Hobby Lobby, sorry, sorry. DD Kona Coffee from Hobby Lobby with one of this or half of this. It was like a ratio of one to one, whatever. The sweet cherry pie and the coffee. Yes, 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 yes. I'm glad I have another one of these candles. If this candle came back again, I would get it. I probably might get another couple of bars of Kona Coffee. And what I might do, I'm just thinking now, is I, what I could do, why don't I just, for giggles, Take some of this, a few a few of these. I could weigh it out so I make sure I get equal quantities. I'm gonna take some of these. I'm gonna take some of the Kona coffee. I'm going to melt it in an empty vessel together. I'm gonna to melt them together and pour them into wax melt. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep that out so I can do that this afternoon. Okay, that's it. Um, so I'm gonna put some of this stuff back and I don't have much left in my melting basket. So I'll probably pull a, f a new melting basket today as well or tomorrow. And um, I am going to do the isolation um, melting basket. That's going to be fun too, I think. 
because I'm gonna be in isolation two weeks, probably like the last two weeks of June. Um, and I don't get into my apartment until August 1st. So I'll be spending, like, if maybe I'll co you know, go home and spend a week with my parents or so and spend some time with my sister and do some couch surfing, I guess. Um, and head to Wolfville where I'm gonna be staying anyway. And um, so I'll take enough to do me like for six weeks or so, give or take. Anyway, that'll be fun. Okay, so that's it for now. I hope everybody's having a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.